Hey everybody, I am Brady DeGroote, I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I am here on behalf of Jamar USA for Blink Blink Jam 2022. Uh, I've been doing balloons for about six years now, and uh, today I'm going to teach you how to do the Leaning Tower of Doghouse. Uh, okay, we're going to make a, uh, a linking balloon doghouse form here. Okay, uh, this can also be used as a gingerbread house for Christmas, a dollhouse for, um, you know, like a, a Barbie party. Um, you can use it for kind of anything that has a house design. I'm also going to teach kind of how to do a basic um, linking balloon structure. I'm going to show you kind of some of the forms that I do. Um, and if you're live in the studio audience, we're going to pass the phone around so you can look at those forms that I use. So um, I'm going to start with that. So the concept with linking balloons is linking balloons is basically a grid system, okay? And so what you got to do is you got to figure out the grid system, and once you figure that out, it makes it a lot easier to do the work. Um, it's basically weaving uh, with a couple of different pieces. So I've got some forms, and we're going to add these to the video. But basically, this is the design that I'm showing here. This one's going to be two-sided, so in my mind, I know I have to duplicate it. But I went into a design program, and I was able to uh, make this template. Okay, I do this on balloons.com.au just for reference. Um, but I was able to make this template, and then from there, I was able to break this template down into individual forms, so that way as I'm putting it together, I can go through and make the individual grids to put it together. To show you another example of a gig that I recently did, I did the same grid system on uh, Balloon Pro. Okay, I made this grid of this heart, and then I broke it down into individual grids here. Okay, and then I sent it to the customer. I added their information. This is the customer's name and the event name for this draw, so that I could send them the final uh, template. And then here is the final product here of the wall. It was a 13 foot by 18 foot wall. Okay, and so basically, if you're if you've never worked with linking balloons, it's basically a weave with uh, larger balloons, more round balloons. If you know how to twist uh, a box weave uh, or a flat weave, you can work with linking balloons. So for this design, what I've done here is I've broken this down into individual rows. So one, two, three, and so on. And then I've done the cross pieces, okay? And as we do the cross pieces, which I'll show you in a minute, we're going to tie the five inch balloons onto them, so all we have to do is just wrap them in very easily. Okay? Come on, come on. These are inflated here to approximately nine inches. If you're using, uh, I have a precision air right here, it's a 3.0. Okay? And then I've been uh, sizing the five inch balloons down to four inch. Okay? And I can tell from my template exactly which colors I need to use at exactly which point uh, because I can look at it and it'll tell me. I need to do a mocha here, blush, 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 mocha, mocha, so on and so forth. So I'm going to put my template back up here just so that way uh, you can follow along if you're... Uh, Matteo, if you want to pass out the phone for anybody that wants to see the, the template that we used, um, which they can see it up here too. So basically I can look at the template and I know which colors I need to use, right? So obviously, uh, we're going to start, this is going to be a two-sided design, so I've already done most of the work. But I only have an hour to teach this class, so I did most of the work, and I'll show you guys how to do, how I did all the sizing and everything for all these parts as well, um, as we go to put it together. But what we're going to do is we're basically going to build the second house, the second side of it, um, and after we get that done, we'll explain how to do the ribs and how to tie them in, and then we'll basically put it together and we'll be done. Um, so what we're going to start on is I'm going to start from one side, We'll get one side done, we'll get the other side done, and then I like to fill in the middle from there. So for that, we need four blush and then one mocha in a chain. Again, these are going to be uh, 9 inch or 3.0 on this uh, premium air. Very important when you're working with linking balloons that you have everything properly sized. If you have anything that's off, it'll really cause a noticeable kink in the uh, in the designs. If you see any of these balloons flying out of the sides here, it's because I've already displayed it, so just ignore them. We'll tie these together. And then I need a mocha on the end of this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But I also need a five inch balloon size to four inches on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
tie that one in. mocha to the end of the, the other end of the chain because I know that's from the template that's what I need to have down there. The great thing about linking glue is if you start with your smaller bubble on each end of your chain as you're putting it together all you have to do is just twist the small bubbles into place and everything falls together very quickly. So we're going to set this one to the side. I'm just going to set it over here kind of in order of what I'll need it so that way I don't get confused as I'm putting it together. So our next row according to our template is going to be one, two, three, four, five blush and one mocha. Yeah, you have a question? Yeah. Hi. Oh, hi. Hey. Thank you for coming to my class at 9.30 at night. <laughs> Probably a delay though, right? Probably like two or three second delay. Just guess. Yeah, so. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. If you're watching on uh, Jamar USA, Jamar Live, uh, hello. Thank you for tuning in. Okay. So I got my blush and my mocha, and I just need to put my mocha on each end. Here, my uh, five inch going up to four. I usually mouth the plate, but I'm told not to do this. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put that one in there. Yeah, it's not So we got our second chain here. I'm gonna set it aside. Our third line is gonna be four mocha, two blush, and then a mocha. So I'm gonna go ahead and inflate those. I think they're trying to find the lights in here so it won't be so dark. Hopefully we'll have that soon. Had this guy walk in in his uniform with his gun and his mask. I'm like, I swear I didn't do anything. He said. That out. Strike one. Right here, 
I want to go ahead and start assembling some of them together. So I'm going to just make my cross section right here real fast and put those in. So the way that we're going to do our cross sections is basically we're going to, we know we need mocha here and then we need blush the rest of the way. So we can make our whole cross section by doing a mocha uh, eight inch, uh, nine inch, excuse me, with a mocha four inch and then another one on the other side, tie them together and then all we have to do is just twist our uh, cross members together. So I'll show you how to do that real fast. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and inflate all of our cross sections here. Uh, the one mocha and the one, two, three, uh, three blush. And then once we have those inflated, uh, then I will twist all of them together so I can show what we're doing. So let's do that. Does everybody understand? I know there's uh, people in here. If you guys have any questions, you're welcome to ask. But then if you're on the Jamar live, if you have any questions, you're welcome to ask too. Uh, anything that you might not understand, I'll do my best to answer. Okay, so we've got our mocha. Okay, then we understand we got our two small ones on this end, and then our two big ones on this end. Okay, then we're going to do our blush ones. I'm using a mocha on the other end of this blush because I need it right here because it's mocha in this section. Wrap our mocha into our mocha section. 
Take our blush. So I'm gonna do our second uh, vertical rip. Twist those together. Bring it over. Tie our orange balloon in this way. Like that. Okay, if you're a twister, this is just easy. We're gonna do the same exact thing here again. This is just a box lead is what this is. Take that blush right there into that second row. And then come back across this way. Now this is a little bit loose and flimsy. It's not sturdy yet because we need to be able to put our balloons here and here to make it sturdy. We're not going to be able to do that until we tie it to the other half of the wall. So we're just going to have a flimsy uh, house wall until we get everything put together. So bear with me. We're going to take our last one here. Do this. Make sure, it's very important to make sure you don't get disoriented. Uh, if, just, so take the time if you're not sure because if you get disoriented, it's not a lot of fun because you got to pop a whole bunch of it and restart. Okay, but we're just doing the same exact thing all three times, okay? And again, this is upside down, right? I'm just showing you because it's easy because everything dangles down. Okay, but in reality, this is what we have. The same exact side of the wall here, okay? Any questions? Are we tracking? All right, awesome. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the other side because they're um, they're symmetrical. They're just one, two. Okay. So I'm going to make the other side exactly like this, and then we'll start to attach them together. So we'll start with our outer horizontal rib again. So it's four blush and uh, one mocha. got the 5 inch, uh, the 12 inch which is over here with me, and then the 13 inch G-Link as well. So that's that rib, now I just need to put my focus on the end of it. Okay. So which one's better? Am I better live or on video? Oh, I see. Oh. Live, live. Always live. Always live. Live because you can ask questions. Yeah. Good. You're never disrupted in my class. Okay, we got that rib, we're gonna set it to the side. And I'm setting it on the other side just so I don't get it confused. The next one, and I can just follow this reverse tip here, so it's five uh, plus and then uh, one focus. The amazing thing about this uh, structure, it never works it looks daunting, but it's actually very easy. If you can follow a pattern, Alright. Ah. It's late. Yeah. 
been working on food all day. You guys saw me on Jamar Live this morning at 8 a.m. Ouch. Yeah. Okay, so we got our second rib. Set that to the side. And then we need our third one. And our third one is the one that's four mocha, two blush, and one mocha. Yay! 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 What are we celebrating, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, actually, that about messed up. This is why you don't celebrate with people that are randomly celebrating and you don't understand. Because you would like to make these people. Okay. Horizontal rib and our, excuse me, our first vertical rib and our first horizontal rib. 
Put those together on the four inch balloon. Then we're going to take our second one, wrap it in right there. Ta da! So this will be the side of the doghouse? Yes, we're making this side right here. So we already make this side, we're making this side, and we just gotta make this part. Yep. It's just easier to go on section. When I'm working on the stage, when I did it earlier, I did the whole, all the cross sections first, but uh, I didn't want to have a big mangled mess on the stage. So, all right, that's what we got. One more. 
four of these. Hey, thank you, Janet. Yeah, we'll see you in the morning. Yes, ma'am. You'll be able to see the finished product in the morning. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
we go ahead and move the table so that way we'll be assembling at that point. the cross ribs, the same exact inflating numbers, okay? You're gonna do your five inch balloon to four inches. Then you've got your uh, round balloon to like nine inches or 3.0 on this inflator. And then your other five inch balloon to four inches, okay? You just wrap it into one side and then run it across to the other side. The way you know which color to make your, uh, your cross rib here is based on your template. Wherever there is if the five inch balloon on the template is blush, then you do the whole rib as blush. If it's mocha, then you do the whole one as mocha, okay?
to make the cross rib, it's a four inch and then the nine inch down together. One more four inch, tie it in there. Are there any questions? If you're on the uh, GEMR Live, thank you for joining us. I know it's late. Um, we appreciate you tuning in. Um, if you have any questions, you can find me next to the Blue Salsa. I'm happy to answer any questions. Uh, this will be posted to YouTube and then also sign up for the, uh, the uh, newsletter. Uh, the link's in the bio. That way you can get the templates. Uh, also, I think they're going to give you the template that I used for my giant art wall that I did as well. So um, thanks and have a great night. <laughs>